As you are probably all aware, the World Health Organization held an emergency committee meeting today and declared as a result of those deliberations that there is a public health emergency of international concern on the basis of the Zika, spread of the Zika virus in the Americas. We've been in contact on a daily basis with our colleagues at the World Health Organization and there are a number of ways I expect that they will be interested in us participating. I've been in communication already with a number of researchers across the country. We have expertise, as you may be aware, in a number of areas. Uh, Epidemic surveillance is one of the areas where there was a, an article published by some Canadian researchers in The Lancet just last week, uh, which indicates, of course, their expertise in uh, monitoring an epidemic like this. There is also expertise in the area of vaccine development, as we know from our Ebola vaccine. So I suspect there are many ways that Canada will contribute to the crisis. There is a serious concern in terms of the spread of this virus and in terms of the, uh, also the spread of the mosquito that carries the virus. So it is of international concern. I think it's important to continue continue to emphasize to Canadians, of course, that we at this point have no reason uh, to be concerned about local transmission of the virus in our context, uh, but we are obviously concerned with our uh, those of our uh, uh, folks in South and Central America and the Caribbean and Southern United States who may have to be uh, concerned about local transmission in their context, and of course it affects Canadians who may be interested in traveling. I continue to encourage Canadians to seek medical attention if they're planning to travel and also to go to the website travel. Travel.gc.ca for the most up-to-date information about travel advice.